everybody. Welcome to a very, very special segment of the Downtown Podcast. We have a new guest. His name is Thomas Nicholas, which you might know him from films like American Pie or Rookie of the Year. Let's give him a warm welcome to Las Vegas and Inspire Theater. Welcome, Thomas. I just wanted to break the door. Yeah, it's fine. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Well, you were a pleasant surprise, and we're excited to have you in town. Well, thank you for having me on the show. Well, we'll talk about your past in a minute. But first, <laughs> what, are you do what are you doing uh -oh. here? What are you doing in Las uh, Vegas? Well, I'm playing on the roof tonight. I played last night on the roof um, of Inspire. Mm -hmm. So I have a band. Uh, yes, the dude from American Pie also has a band. <laughs> um, and I am still doing films, but I'm on tour. and. Yeah, and I'm, I don't know if you guys know this, but I was actually born in Las Vegas. You were? So You're like a native. A, uh, okay. Great, great. This is a, home, a hometown show. It's a hometown show. Did you live here for a very long time? or? Yes, an entire two years. OK. Um, and then I moved to Northern California and then Los Probably Angeles. Probably grew up in a casino um, the two years you the were two, here. Yes, yeah. I was definitely in a, No, actually, to be honest, I was in a, a trailer park in Pahrump. I love uh, it. But we were high class trailer trash. <laughs> Because we had a double wide. Oh, those so are nice. It's pretty high class. I like it. Is that when you started to learn to play the guitar? Did you start young? Uh, I started playing music when I was 14. I started acting when I was six. OK. So, so you got in there right away. Yeah, I've been just basically working my entire life. <laughs> well, we're happy to have you. And American Pie, you know, you're know, you very well known for that. Do you get soft in public? Do people wonder who you are? Uh, yes, people often wonder who I am. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, it just depends on what I'm doing. You know, if I'm grocery shopping, no. But, uh, you know, on a night like tonight when my band is playing, then people kind of put two and two together. Right. I'm usually the guy from American Pie that, you know, deflowered Tara Reid. That's usually yeah. how people How is that me. in real life? Deflowering Tara Reid? Yeah. I'm pretty sure she was already deflowered <laughs> before we did that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So... <laughs> There was an apple pie involved, and I know, you know, supposedly only one person had his way with it. Did you guys all experiment with that? On I did not want sloppy pie seconds. No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> and another question I want to know is, how does it feel to be the best pitcher of the Cubs? Uh, it's uh, it's pretty fun. That you know, if you can believe it, that film is 22 years. Oh my old. gosh, you're aging me. Yeah, I don't, you know, we're old. What do you want? Yeah. Um, and every once in a while, I go out there and uh, and throw out the first pitch and sing the Do seventh really? inning stretch. Yeah, I've done it five times now. I was just there because I'm on a U.S. tour right now. Okay. So I was just uh, in Chicago doing that, and then we played a show after that uh, as well. So I kind of combine everything. I have a song in the soundtrack of American Reunion oh. with my band. And, See, I didn't know that. That's cool. Uh, and as far as like upcoming jobs, because I did say you know I'm still acting even though right. I've got these six albums and touring and all that. Uh, there's a movie called Walt Before Mickey that will hit theaters on the East Coast on August 15th. So I play Walt Disney from the age of 17 to 27. No way. Um, and uh, yeah, it shows all of his failures and going bankrupt in Kansas City, which I didn't know that Walt Disney had, you know, failed that badly. That, yeah, that you know, because you're like, oh, it's Walt Disney, right. so successful. But one's success is often, you know, the antithesis of that is their failure, and he definitely. <laughs> He was down in the dumps. When can we see it here on the West Coast? Do they have a release date? Uh, I'm not sure. It's an indie film, so it's gaining traction. Okay. And it wasn't supposed to come out in theaters. It was going to go straight to video. But then some people saw it, and they want it in their theater. So it's going out in like 50 theaters. So maybe it'll grow. Maybe it will make it over here. If not, it'll be out on video in November. OK. Yeah, well, we'll keep an eye on you, and we'll definitely post it on our social media. Right on. And we'll tell you what we think. And then. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'll dig it. I think you'll dig it. Uh, and after the show, you should go to the roof. And yeah, so we're hang definitely going to go. My band, so right? how would you, you guys are all invited. <laughs> Everyone's invited. How would you describe, for, for people that haven't heard your band yet, how would you describe your type of music? What's your genre? Um, it's rock. You know, I grew up listening to like Nirvana and, and, uh, and Weezer and Green Day, and now I'm super into Foo Fighters. So, okay, yeah. you know, I, I was excited. We just played uh, Glastonbury which is one of the world's largest festivals in the UK. And we were bummed because Dave Grohl broke his leg. Right, I and heard so about that. And so they were supposed to like... headline, and we were like <laughs> on a stage like 10 minutes from there. I'm like, I'm going to finally meet Dave Grohl. And then he broke his leg. Not this time. Yeah. 
Are you going to come to Life is Beautiful here in September? I will be back in the UK on a tour. Oh, Life rude. Is Beautiful. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's OK. Well, what, you know, aside from today and this filming, what is a favorite, you know, film that you've starred in or even just been any role? What's your favorite, aside from today? Out of the last 28 years, um, I would say my favorite movie of all time that I've done was a, a movie called Rules of Attraction, okay. which was uh, written and directed by Roger Avery, who uh, wrote Pulp Fiction. Okay. So it was kind of crazy. I don't know. If you haven't seen Rules of Attraction, you should definitely check it out. Okay. Is it on Netflix? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's around. I mean, okay. it should be on Netflix or something like that. We'll find it for yeah, sure. Yeah, you can find it. All right. So where can we find your band, aside from up on the roof tonight, if somebody wants to download your music or just check out your site, where can they find you? Uh, well, we're doing everything ourselves without a record label, but we're on all the same stuff, Spotify, iTunes, uh, you know, got a website, Twitter, Instagram, What's all your that website? Uh, Tinband.com, T-I-N band. Uh, it's the Thomas Nicholas Band. I came up with the name all by myself. Oh. <laughs> I really just couldn't think of a good band name. I'm sorry. It's cool. You, yeah. can, you can roll with that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we really appreciate you coming. One more thing. DJ Lenny claims to know your wife, and I'm not going to get in the middle of this. <laughs> but Yeah. Col <laughs> Colette, I'm a big fan. We used to DJ together back in the day. Right on. Where Chicago. are you from? In Chicago? Well, I spent 10 years in Chicago. But uh, I, I uh, wanted to ask you, because I know you uh, recently had a child. Yeah. Uh, and uh, does your child listen to more rock or house music? He listens to both. both he's, uh, right, yeah, right he's on. kind of interested in like, you know, live instruments and then also DJing. So he's getting the best of both worlds. Right on. And he'll right be on. four in October. All right. Right on. Right on, man. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Brother. I'll tell her you said hello. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, we better let you go. You have to finish setting up upstairs, right? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Maybe make my bass player do it. I don't know. All right. Well, we'll take shots with you in a little while. All right. That Thank you so much. Thank you for coming yeah. on. See you guys on the roof. You guys come upstairs, watch Tin Band tonight, and check them out. Download them on iTunes. Thanks for coming, everybody.